Yeah, it's another beautiful day and uh, figured we'd fire up another car. I'm gonna head over to the LTD with my air tank and uh, the battery out of this one and uh, go see if we can't fire it up and hopefully I'll have enough gas and I'll be able to drive it to the shop and uh, vacuum out all that uh, uh, pine cone crap out of the under the hood there. But let's see what happens with this one first. Oh, I need to tighten the battery. Uh, the positive cable ain't exactly the best. Negative one's on there, but the positive one is kind of garbage. Kind of diesels a bit, Ugh. but there she is. Now I'm out of the way. I can drive it straight out of there. I think. First things first, though. I gotta air up that there tire. Hopefully it'll. Hopefully it stayed on the bead pretty well, and it'll take air. But we'll find out. Well, I got the tire to pump up and it's holding air, but uh, I don't think I trust this tire. It's got a lot of a lot of cracks in it and uh, yeah, stuff like that. I might have to swap it out. I think I got a full full size spare in the trunk. I might throw in there because this one's pretty beat up. But on to the battery. Well, Houston, we have a problem. He just clicks. At first, I thought it was uh, you know, maybe battery cable, so I went and grabbed the uh, trusty little uh, brush there, and I cleaned everything up and got them nice and tight. But uh, still seems to be clicking there at the solenoid, and not turning it over. So a few things could cause that. I could have a bad solenoid, could have a bad starter, I could have locked up the motor. I kind of doubt that one, but. What I think I'm going to do next is I'm just going to bypass the solenoid completely with a set of jumper cables and touch that terminal and see if I can get the uh, the starter to spin over that way. And if that's the case, then my solenoid's just uh, you know not working and corroded inside. But I got to go grab my jumper cables and we'll see what happens. All right. Well, what I've done here is I've. Uh, gone ahead and grabbed my jumper cables. I put one on the positive side, uh, the red lead, and then I put the negative lead on the wire that goes down to the starter here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that other black one, and I'm going to touch it to this other red one here. And it's going to kind of work like uh, a switch, I guess. And if, it's, uh, if it does work, let's see if I can get around the camera here, it should spin it over. But all it does is spark so I'm thinking I have a starter issue now I've already gone ahead and I put a breaker bar on the crank bolt there and it does spin so that's a, a load off my mind so it's not froze um, problem looks like it's in the starter somewhere and the way it's sparking it seems like it's got a good connection but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean them all up anyway and I guess I'm going to have to pull the starter out right here where it sits. Fun. Well, in kind of a last ditch effort, I grabbed the battery out of the truck, cleaned it up, threw it in. It's a little bit bigger than that one, got a lot more cranking amps, so uh, we'll see if that makes a difference real quick. It's a lot easier than uh, taking the starter out, so maybe. Ha ha ha. Yup, it was just corroded connections. Awesome. So, I'll give it a couple of quick pumps. Nice. 
I think I'll bring it into the shop and I'll uh, clean up all them connections. Whew! I got lucky. I'm glad I went ahead and found that other battery. But I better close the hood and get everything out of the way because I don't know how much gas I got in this thing. Alright, let's get this beast out of here. Hasn't moved all winter. Yeah, bring it straight into the shop. Because I can't have more than a gallon of gas in it. Probably running off what's in the carburetor. Yep. Open my big door and uh, let myself in. Alright class, what was the lesson we learned today? Big engine needs a big battery. That little one didn't even try to turn it over. I had enough power to run the solenoid and that's about it. But I'm glad, that's why I decided to try that before I went ahead and started tearing crap apart. But uh, I am going to go ahead and at least clean up here. I don't know if I want to crawl underneath, but I will clean those off up top and uh, vacuum that crap out. And maybe just get rid of this hood insulation. It's pretty, pretty well shot and in the way. So, but I got it running. I'm happy about that. Well, now just to prove that this battery wasn't dead or anything, um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in the in the rabbit and drive it away. It might be a little low on charge now that I <laughs> tried to start that big dog with it, but uh, I'm pretty sure it'll fire up this whole thing. All right, moment of truth. Pretty sure it'll start it. Yeah. No problem. Told you it was a good battery. All right, I think I got the majority of the most crap out of here. Uh, and I pulled down the little hood insulation there. And as you can see, my floor is covered in pine cone crap. But uh, I think two miracles happened here. I haven't seen any evidence of them being inside the car. And uh, so far I haven't seen any, any chewed up wires. So that's two small miracles, I guess. I'm gonna have to uh, make sure I look over real good and make sure both of those things didn't happen. But uh, so far, so good. I don't see anything damaged. I hate them freaking mice. Now, like I said, I don't see any evidence of uh, mice inside the car. Everything still looks pretty clean. I don't see any droppings or uh, anything like that. So I think we're all right inside. It doesn't smell or anything. Um, went ahead and I pulled the spare tire out. And it's a goofy looking thing. It's old, that's for sure. Says it's a uh, says it's a radial tire. Yeah, let's see here, polyester radial, but it's got the old style uh, HR 7815, whatever the hell that means. And I don't have a a chart to look up, uh, you know, what that converts to. This is 225-7515, but you know, I line it up here, and it it looks a wee bit bigger, maybe, but that could be just because it's you know not holding the weight of the car. I don't know. But it looks bigger to me, so I'm just going to throw it back in the trunk and uh, air up the tire on the other side. And uh, I'm not going to be driving it anywhere. I need probably need new tires anyway in the front. But I think I'll just throw that back and clean that up, and we'll back it out and call it good. All right. Well, I've gone ahead and I've cleaned up those terminals a little bit. They weren't really dirty. Um, I think it was just uh, that battery just didn't have enough room for the other one. Not enough to turn it over. I thought I would at least get a you know a little bit of movement but I got nothing so I got the big dog in there ready to go put a little air in the tire and uh, let's go ahead and back it up out of here